I ain't gonna have nothing good to say about that. I'm not gonna have nothing. It, everything come out is it's gonna be nothing good to say about it. Listen, Linda, when it comes to Dwayne Wade, Boosie has got absolutely nothing good to say, especially with all this talk about the secret gay parties Dwayne has been hosting. I mean, by now, we've all heard about those secret gay parties that Hollywood men on the DL host, right? And does it even surprise you that one of the hosts is Dwayne Wade? So, there was a time back in the day when Dwayne Wade's former business partner, Baron Richard Von Houtman, exposed the secret wild parties. He said that he got sucked into doing business with Dwayne because he had a first-class media persona, he was that good guy, father of the year, and celebrity who had his head on his shoulders. But he found out after a year that he was nothing like that. Then he spilled on how Dwayne used an apartment to host adult, mostly gay parties with his friends during his marriage. And he even went into the details about the apartment, saying, it was a four-bedroom place on the first floor of a high-rise. One day, I got a call from my cleaning crew at the apartment. I went down there, and what I saw was disgusting. The apartment was trashed, filthy, and it wasn't the first time. According to the business partner, Dwayne would host these parties two or three times a week, and there were always dozens of people in there, including very well-known celebrities, many of them young men. He even described the scenes after a party, saying there were used condoms on the floor of the bedrooms, obvious signs of adult activity on all the beds, empty champagne and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and half-eaten food rotting on tables and furniture. And it gets even juicier, because he said that Dwayne would sometimes take Gabriel Union to the parties, and she was totally okay with what was going on. Around the same time Richard made the allegations, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife Siobhan claimed in their divorce case that Dwayne had given her an undisclosed STD that he caught outside the marriage. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine is as to where Dwayne may have contracted the STD. Other than the business partner, Jaguar Wright also spilled that when young boys were not being taken advantage of at Will and Jada Smith's house, they were just down the street at the Wade house, basically doing the same thing. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old and young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. For some people, it's easy to believe that Dwayne actually hosts these very wild parties. And then there are those who are taking leaps and bounds into the realm of fantasy to suggest that Dwayne is living his fantasies through one of his children. And when he allowed that child to transition, Boosie definitely had some unfiltered thoughts. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you going too fucking far, dog. That is a male, a 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't even, they don't have sh figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his be gone, how he gonna? Well, Gabby checked him for having such strong opinions about her child, as she should have. But she also went as far as saying that Boosie is probably on the DL himself. Who uh, has a, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is, very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look You've got a lot of <laughs> in your mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's Throw like that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X living his head. For <laughs> free, <laughs> rent free. Like what? It's like, <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, Something you want to just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> this is a safe space. Then Boosie clapped back and said that Dwayne is the one on the DL and shared a post on Twitter where he wrote, while targeting Gabriel Union, LOL, the whole world know I love women and the world know your husband loved D. I hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews and here you go. Go bang him with that D and wait on a script, you little white girl. Um... Okay. By the way, he's not speaking for me. And we all know how Boozy feels about gay people, right? Remember when Lil Nas came out in 2019? Boozy commented by making very offensive jokes and even continued to threaten him, going so far as to say he would drag and whoop his behind. And when it got super heated, Boozy told Lil Nas that he should just go ahead and unalive himself. He's also been saying for years how he's so tired of people and the media pushing the LGBTQIA agenda. My question, why is he so worried about what gay people are doing. Just why? That's what I think. They're, 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 they're putting it on our culture. They're putting it on, they're putting it everywhere. Gay, gay stuff is everywhere, you know. 
And I think that they're just trying to do it to make a monetary gain. There's also how he bragged that he hired an older woman to feel up his son for his birthday and allowed the boy to watch adult videos. I know it's not anything to be proud of, but according to Boozy, watching the adult videos was more suitable than allowing children to watch cartoons with two men kissing. In a 2016 interview, Boozy also said that he would get aggressive with his own son to try and change his sexuality if he ever told him he was gay. But, I'm, but first, I'm gonna try to slap his back straight. I'm gonna I'm kick his ass. And maybe he'll re realize that he's not gay. He also literally said that he would never walk his daughter down the aisle if she married a woman. I'm gonna love him to death, but I won't support marriage. I'm not giving my child away to another woman. So imagine how he feels about Dwayne, who possibly hosts these secret gay parties and hasn't even done much to prove that the parties are just nothing but rumors. In fact, if you ask Boosie, he will tell you that Dwayne has actually done enough to hint that he is on the DL. For instance, during a 2020 21 interview with I Am Athlete, Dwayne himself revealed that he used to wear his sister's heels and clothes when he was growing up. When me and my wife looked at each other, right, and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels, I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, when all my sisters did, I try to do those things. There was also a time Dwayne posted a photo with Gabriel and his legs were crossed, exposing a thigh tattoo. To a lot of people, those were just receipts that he actually could be on the DL, which meant to them that those wild party stories were not really far-fetched. In another instance, Dwayne also posted a photo showing off his painted toes and a gold anklet. And I can't forget to mention a blind item that made the rounds which read, this former A-list NBA player says on road trips, he used to sleep with his A-plus list teammate, who is also now retired. Both men are married to women. And the names that surfaced a lot with regards to the blind items were Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Allegedly, a lot of these NBA stars get invited to the parties, which would explain why why there are usually so many blind items suggesting that NBA stars are on the DL. Well, people have once again been making far-fetched claims that Dwayne might be living his fantasies as an extension of the parties through one of his children, who according to him, knew that she was a girl when she was just nine. Zaya early on, she was the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay, right? I identify myself as a young lady, but she's, she's known that for nine years. Also, considering how much his ex-wife fought him on that gender change, maybe she knows a little too much about those parties. She actually said that Dwayne was pressuring their child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to profit from business opportunities that their child was offered, and argued that the child should wait until she's 18 to decide if she wants to legally change her name. But Dwayne clapped back in a statement saying, in part, while none of us are surprised by Siobhan's attempt to fight my child's identity and her unwavering attempt to drag my name through the mud, I'm very disappointed that she continuously finds ways of centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. I'm just hoping that none of the kids were exposed to those alleged parties that Dwayne was hosting, or the swinger parties that he now allegedly hosts with Gabrielle. <clears throat> I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just reporting what the streets are saying. But let me know your thoughts on all these wild parties that Dwayne hosted, or even still hosts with Gabrielle. And do you think that Boosie's clear hatred is justified, or should he check himself first and mind his damn business? Sound off in the comment section below.